Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here, and today I'm coming at you with my newest LEGO mock, or my own creation. And today we're going to be taking a look at my layout of Tatooine from Star Wars. Now, this mock took around 6 months to build, and has a total of 27 uh, 32 by 30, uh, 32 by 32 base plates, which are these seen right here. So there are 27 of these in the mock. Um, in terms of dimensions, it's nine base plates along and three base plates in width. So it's definitely a large project. Once again, it took six months to build, and I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. Now, this mock is split into three main sections. You, of course, have the spaceport of Mos Eisley. And then, as we move over, you have the desert, which is all of that area right there. And then you have Jabba's Palace. So those are the three main parts of Tatooine, which I ended up including in this mock as well. I'm very excited to show you all the parts of this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get in and take a closer look right now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off here in the very corner of Mos Eisley. So first off, um, if you have seen um, in the original trilogy and even a bit in the new trilogy, um, Tatooine, or actually Mos Eisley, is famous for its large hangar bays. And those are one of the big uh, standout parts of Tatooine, or Mos Eisley. So I really wanted to include that in this mock. And I think I did a pretty good job. So basically, this is made using these, um, like, 2x4 type or 1x4 like hinge plates here and they can actually move like such and these uh, really help create a bit of a circular effect <clears throat> even though Lego is of course in rectangular or square parts so it's definitely a bit difficult to make circular models but I think this is um, a pretty good job down here here inside the hangar we it's pretty straightforward we have a small crane a few containers and uh, boxes as this is a hangar bay so there are many folks who unload and then, of course, here we have Boba Fett Slave 1, as this is actually the oldest version from 2000, and it's actually perfectly scaled with the hangar. So there's a look at the hangar, and as we move over just to the left, you see it's pretty straightforward. We just have a couple more containers um, on the corner. So that's a look at the hangar. And we move along here to these two buildings over here. Now, it's pretty straightforward, um, nothing too complicated, but as you can see, um, there's some pretty generic buildings. You got a couple of roofs and then the doors which are closed. In the front you just have a, a few scrap parts as Tatooine is definitely a bit of a dangerous place. Um, a lot of crime, a lot of pollution, um, not the safest place to be. Um, so there's just random parts lying around. Same thing over here with a couple more um, containers. And then here we actually have a couple pirates who are trying to mug uh, that Twi'lek. So, again, to show that there's a lot of crime in the city. Um, and then we will go ahead and move along to this portion over here. Now, over here, this is actually one of the movie accurate scenes, as I've included various movie accurate scenes into this mock. But this is actually from the new trilogy, as I do include scenes from both original and new trilogy. So here we, of course, have Anakin, and he's here to meet Watto, and this is when he was ending up looking for his mom. And at that time, Watto had, of course, moved to Tata or Mos Eisley. He had lost his shop and all that, so that's uh, basically a small stand over there. So there's a look at that, and now let's take a look at the cantina. All right, so here is a look at uh, Mos Eisley Cantina, a very famous part of Mos Eisley, and that is why that is actually the only building here that I have uh, open-ended, such that you can actually see into the building. Um, but again, there are many movie-accurate scenes in this as well. So we'll go ahead, zoom in a bit. You could basically see we, of course, have the bartender over there. And on to his right, we have Chewbacca and Obi-Wan. And they're once again talking over, um, as seen in the movie, when Obi-Wan is once again looking for a ship to Alderaan. And then, in terms of the back, we have three boots. One of them, we do have um, the Orta Plutonian um, from the Frico Speeder, as he was actually seen in the cantina. So that's a bit of a cool movie-accurate scene. Then we, of course, have Han and Greedo there. I'm talking it over, and this is, of course, when um, Greedo had come uh, to collect the bounty by killing Han Solo. So there's a look. You could see I added these um, one by two plates of uh, sand blue and uh, dark red into the mock. I think that looks really nice and adds a bit more texture to the mock. And finally, on the very top, you, of course, have a small dome. So there's a look 
at Moss Eisley Cantina. All right, and here we have a look at the side section here. We, of course, have two more um, buildings here. Um, one of them, of course, has one more of the domes, and the other does have a motion evaporator, which is actually quite commonly seen in Tatooine, uh, or in Moss Eisley and actually Tatooine. You, of course, have some nice detailing here in the corner with some of the piping, uh, which continues on into the desert. And then you can, again, have a few more miscellaneous minifigures, um, as I did want to make this look as um, bustled up like a market as possible and show as many minifigures as I could. So there's a basic look at that. And now let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, uh, large cluster of buildings over here. So basically, as we move in a bit, you can see we, of course, have a air speeder here. As there are a lot of ground vehicles in Tatooine. Um, next to that, we of course have three main uh, or two main buildings, and then we have this uh, part of a third building. And then you can see, of course, here in the front, we have a small hallway with a moisture evaporator um, next to it. And then here again, I added a small little uh, stand here, as this is uh, quite a few uh, vendors throughout Tatooine. Um, you can see Jar Jar Banks there in front, but there's a nice little overhang above uh, the vendors. And then once again, some more miscellaneous figures. I try to add as many like bounty hunters. Then you can see, of course, I try to add droids into the population as there are a lot of droids um, throughout Star Wars and uh, quite a few actually in Mos Eisley. So there's a basic look at that. Um, and as we move along a bit, you can see I have another one of the overhangs here in the corner. Um, and uh, below that, we have another vendor. Over here, we, of course, have a couple more of the domes and some nice pipe detailing in the back. So there's a basic look at this section of uh, Moss Eisley. And moving along to this section, it's quite fun actually. Here we have another one of the movie accurate scenes. Of course, we have um, uh, the land speeder of Luke, which is being stopped by the stormtroopers. There are two on this side and there is one on that side. Um, but you can see this was, of course, when Obi-Wan ended up using the mind trick on the stormtroopers. So I thought that was a really cool scene to add. Um, you can see we have C-3PO and R2-D2 on um, the back. And then, um, going straight down, you have one uh, roadway here. And then on the side of that, we just have another building. Some nice pipe detailing on that. And moving along to the back side um, of the hangar bay, we of course have two more buildings here. You can see I added some nice details um, with the 1x3 slopes. Um, and I think it really adds some nice texture to the buildings. But in the middle, of course, you have another overhang with the hallway, and that actually ends up leading to the junkyard, which I'll give you, in, uh, give you a look at in just a sec. But as we try to move over uh, behind the Slave 1, you can see we have two more buildings there. And of course, um, there is another moisture evaporator um, at that corner as well. Um, so there is a basic look at um, the, this section of Tatooine. And here's a look at the back section. So this part isn't uh, specifically seen in Tattoo or in Mos Eisley, but if you have seen episode one of Star Wars, you know that in Mos Espa they had these type of slave quarters, um, and of course, with that being in Mos Espa, I decided that there has to be in uh, Mos Eisley as well. So I added here in the back these slave quarters. So they're very small, very cramped, not really good living conditions as seen there. Um, and then over here, once again, is a look at the junkyard. It's basically a ton of just random parts here um, of like ships, wheels, everything, piping. As, as, as Tatooine is once again very polluted, um, not really safe place, as I said. So there's a lot of junk everywhere. And I kind of wanted to have that in the mock. But then in the back, we have another small uh, overhang with a vendor in the bottom selling a few crates of illegal weapons. Um, next to that, we just have another uh, person walking. Then over here, we have some engines, which are actually put upright um, as they're like uh, parts, uh, re remains of the Clone Wars and kind of show that um, things like that happened. Next to that, I also have another speeder. Um, and now let's go ahead and move on to the center section. All right, so these are some of the really taller buildings of Tatooine. We, of course, have three um, or four main buildings. Um, so first off, we just have a pretty generic building here in the back, um, next to which we have a large um, tower. This is like a communications tower, and I really like how that's turned out. Over here, we have another building with the overhang in the front, 
And then this is our fourth and final building on the right. So there is a basic look at that. Um, here in the uh, front, we of course have another air speeder. And actually this one is um, more uh, for the higher ground. So it's um, actually above air compared to some of the other speeder bikes. So there's a basic look at the backside. And one really cool thing I ended up adding was actually the um, uh, Rebel, or not the Rebel, the Imperial um, Assault Carrier, which I ended up actually making as if it is flying. Now, sadly, I did not use Lego bricks for that. I just used a clear tube and then added uh, Lego bricks at the bottom to make it stick and same on the top. And um, Lego bricks I tried using, they were kind of flimsy, so I did end up going with this approach. Plus, this actually looks a bit more cleaner, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. Really gives a bit more of a lively look to Tattoo or to Moss Eisley, kind of shows that it's a spaceport. And I really like how that's turned out um, here in the back. And here we have the final part of Moss Eisley, which is, of course, um, the bit of the entrance to Moss Eisley. Now, this is, was actually gained inspiration from the LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga video game. And then one of the levels, you do have to pass like one of these large um, gateways um, to get to the other side. And I really like the look of that. It actually helps also separate the desert and Moss Eisley. But you can see we have a sand-mounted trooper on a dewback. And then over here, we do have a Imperial hover tank which is actually from Rogue One. But again, um, it, if it was in Rogue One, which comes before episodes four, five, six, it's kind of implied that this vehicle would be in episodes four, five, six as well. So I ended up adding that um, here in the corner as we get a better look at that right there. Um, and that's a basic look at the last part of Moss Eisley. And finally, let's just go ahead and take a quick look at basically the sand detailing, which has been put throughout the model on the ground. And I think that really adds a bit of a nicer effect to the city, um, makes it a bit more lively and a bit more realistic as well, um, such that it is in the desert. Um, and then here's just a basic look at the basic uh, roadways um, that go throughout Moss Eisley. So now let's go ahead and get into the desert. All right, so here is the desert. Now there are basically three main parts of the desert as it's not very um, lively, there's not too much there, as of course it is a desert, so it is a bit of a wasteland. But basically, we have one movie accurate scene, which is seen over here, and then a couple other scenes in the back. So basically, what we have here um, is on the far corner, right over here, this is a scene from Star Wars Episode Two where Anakin is going to attack um, the Tusken Raiders um, to free his mom. Now, it is actually not completely accurate as I didn't get time to make a Tusken Raider uh, camp. But instead, I kind of enlarged in this set. This is set number um, 7113, the Tusken Raider Encounter. And that's what I kind of based my uh, design of this section on. Moving along, we have a nice little sand dune here. Um, and that's kind of to uh, be a bit of a barrier between um, these two scenes. Um, and it looks pretty nice, uh, pretty good detail. And anyways, now let's go ahead and take a look at the crash shuttle. Alright, so this is a cool, fun little scene. We basically have a crashed Imperial shuttle, which is actually being attacked by some of the rebels. And um, you can see we got a few of the officers and pilots already taken down. Here's a look at the rebels. And then you can see one is strangling that trooper. Um, and then there's a one last uh, stormtrooper still remaining who is trying to fight for his life. Here's a basic look at the shuttle, pretty damaged, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, and then over there I did add some sand on top of the wing to make it look like as if um, this, uh, the wing has been uh, gone underneath the sand. I really like how that looks, adds a bit uh, more diversity to the desert. And moving along to this final section, this I kind of got from actually The Force Awakens, as basically it's parts and like junk all throughout the desert. And you can see we have a couple of scavengers there as they are trying to scavenge for parts um, that they can end up trading for money and kind of, you know, make their way um, every day. Um, so it's pretty straightforward, just a lot of different parts and junk over there. You get a few, few droid parts, again, to show that there are parts of the Clone Wars that kind of still uh, remain on this planet. Um, but I think that looks pretty good, adds a bit more diversity to the desert. But now let's get on to the good part, which is Jabba's Palace. And the final portion of Tatooine is, of course, Jabba's Palace. 
So that is the last of the three sections of my mock. And basically, this is um, the large mountain on top of which is Java's Palace. So the mountain in the bottom is actually made using one by three slopes, one by two slopes, and a few inverted slopes. And then I use dark tan plates for the base. And then here we have a look at Jabba's Palace, which is a basically a modified version of set number 9516, Jabba's Palace. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. All I had to do was actually um, decrease the width of the palace. But other than that, it turned out awesome. A real centerpiece of Tatooine, a really eye-catching. And of course, you could see there is Jabba. So there you go. That's going to do it for the total review of my mock of Tatooine. And here's one final look at the whole Tatooine layout, um, all 27 base plates of it. Um, so it's definitely so large I couldn't fit it into the entire frame. But basically, this is going to mark an end to the building Tatooine in the LEGO series. And I want to thank you so much for all the support I received on the series. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. Um, the link will be in the description below. It's a basic series of where uh, I just show how um, every few weeks I made a new update. And basically, you'll get to really see how I built the city and how it improved over um, the almost six months uh, since we started, uh, as we had started back in February. So I want to thank you so much for watching. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys really enjoyed the ride on this building Tatooine in Lego series. Um, and stay tuned as more Lego Star Wars is yet to come. And don't forget, um, as August 18th through the 21st, 2016, if it's after this date, definitely just ignore it. But you can actually come and see this mock in person. So that's really awesome. Um, that's once again at Bricks by the Bay 2016. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys really liked how the mock has turned out. Um, if you have any last minute suggestions here and there, um, before the next couple days, you can definitely put that down in the comments and I'll try to see if I can uh, get those worked out. But thank you so much for watching um, and stay tuned as more videos are soon to come. And we'll f go ahead and end this off with a bit of a slideshow of how the mock has uh, progressed over the six month period. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. This is BrickWizard59 and I will see you all next time. Oh,